we have Santana wins today. It's uh, January 19th, 21. And I'm going Take to look at the... I'm going to look at the little drop-in freezer. I believe it's beverage air. Uh, I replaced condenser fan motor on it back in October, I think October or September. And she's calling and saying it's under cooling or, well, it's not freezing their ice creams. So let's go and check that out. If it's my condenser motor I installed wrong or what's happening there. Windy. That city. Compressors running. Let's do this. On the way to cold. Compressor runs for runs. Starts, restarts, no problem. I don't know. I don't know what to tell them. Everything seems to be fine at this point. Except the okay, case was running too long. It looks like the bridge had it in a colder settings. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you. Sit 
see what we're on in. Maybe we'll have another tree for each round. It does get bad, so let's melt all the ice off and try it again. quality insulation on the pipes that's for sure detector and gauges and see if we can find something leaking it might be a leak running non-stop somewhere right there by the compressor stop right here maybe hopefully Coffee time. Come on. something right there Hurrah! so it is low on charge we need to find the leak now Is it even the motor that I replaced? 
I think it's small. It'd be nice to see this charge pressure. You see guys, someone replaced this switch. I'm thinking maybe they overcharged it. I didn't notice it last time. Last time I didn't even check the pressures on this thing. There was no reason for it. The problem was that the motor did not run. Okay, only the way to find out is to recover it then. I thought the pressure should be around 10 psi on this thing. Let me recover it, see how much charge I will get out of it and then charge by the scale because obviously someone worked on it or is it compressor not pumping properly just bypassing internally okay they don't want to for me to check to recover and recharge it's too expensive Just saw and started up. See how oh, high side is low. charged to me okay might be overcharged it is overcharged Should have done it. 
<laughs> the first first thing. Let's check if our valve is doing okay. drop 300 psi the yeah, fan spins proper okay let's just recover and uh, wait up let's see it's it takes eight ounces I was able to recover Uh, more than a pound out of it okay so it was charged it, it was overcharged but now if someone overcharged it I'm wondering if there is some crop in the system what they charged it with uh, very strange so what we're gonna do we, we gonna, i'll have to run good vacuum on it just in case there is some crap in the system and then we're gonna scale it up we'll start right there colder than before. Before couldn't get below 7. Positive 7. at all I was here for I don't know two hours three hours no one walked into the store and bought anything <laughs> look guys it's only employees I think on the parking lot 
lazy dog. Big, big restaurants here, but no one comes in anymore. So I will need to come back to this one because it has the leak in that uh, line set. Uh, my leak detector was picking up uh, some refrigerant in that area. I didn't exactly see the leak. With the soap bubbles, it didn't help. But that uh, pipe is definitely looking bad. It, uh, if it, I mean, it, it definitely leaks. But at this point, at least I know, I know what's going on. And uh, I spoke to the manager and they telling me that uh, someone was there recently trying to fix it. And that's when I think they were, they did something to it and they overcharged it. I'm not sure about that, but it sounds like that's what happened with this service call. Another nice sunset. Very windy right now. Beautiful. So yeah, that was by the Honda Center. Ah, oh, crap. This is my trail. I ride that trail on a bike a couple of times. We have uh, all this trail goes all the way from your Belinda to the Huntington Beach, but it's about 20 miles, 25 miles, probably one way. But it's a nice trail, long one. No big elevations. Kind of fun to end up start at your Belinda and end up in a, by the ocean. We're going 57 south, just like that, and we got a sandwich. Let's see if we're gonna see any 18 wheelers on the side of the road because of the wind. start to have rainy days soon it's showing like probably tomorrow for a couple days and it's gonna become to be very cold like right now we have 61 degrees it's five o'clock right now Let's go ahead and deposit a couple checks. It's still windy, very strong wind. wind. And we got uh, I think tomorrow might be worse or tonight. I don't feel on my truck. Usually when it's very high wind here, the Santana winds, my my van is kind of high and the uh, air just pushing it, pushing this van around the freeway back and forth from line to line. Now it's not that bad, it's just it's off Irvine right here. Welcome to Irvine. 